Alright, what's up guys? This is going to be a very interesting video that we're going to watch today. It's from Treasure Christ. Go there, subscribe to their channel. But, this is going to be a very, very interesting video. Um, we're going to check it out. And it, it's pretty surprising about what's going to go on in here. So, let's just jump into it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's just jump into it. There, there is a war raging right now in the marketplace of ideas. It's a simple question that now terrifies politicians the world over. And it's this, what is a woman? There's a chess game. There's a, it's a, what are we even watching? It just, hold on. And the, the ultimate checkmate is, what's a woman? What is a woman? Well, well, can you tell me what a woman is? How would you... Hold on. Do you define a woman? Either. What is a woman? But that hasn't stopped the traditionalists from deploying their newest weapon in the culture war arsenal. The obvious gotcha question. The real basic question, what is a woman? And it's a war that's raging on many fronts. Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Sure, I can't. You can't? Not so, in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. What is a woman? What? What's that got to do with the price of brands, Piers? I can't literally told about you I'm about speech. to debate this I'm movie. I'm on that segment. Guys, ask the next guest. What is a woman? What do you mean, ask the next guest? I said, ask the next guest. You don't know what a woman is? A woman is someone who defines as a woman, period. I know she's talking fast. I can hardly understand what in the world she's even saying, but let's just get anyway. well, Anyone? Time, next guest. Please. Anyone? Okay, I'm a woman. Is that. Yeah? I said next guest because that's not my second. If I if I say I'm a woman. I know you're trying to trap me and I'm not fooling. If I say I'm a Sorry. woman, do you agree I'm a woman? I said next guest because right. I'm not fooling for because it. Bye. You're not getting your little clip out of me, your little audio clip Actually, out of me. <laughs> without realizing it, you may have just given me my little clip. That's okay. the point. That's wonderful for that, you. That ironically is the clip. But one of those fronts is on the front of not just marriage, but the idea of biblical manhood and womanhood and marriage R really a biblical understanding of humanity what is a woman a woman is someone who claims that as their identity that's not an answer that's not an answer that's your opinion lady okay sorry my phone just went off it could be many things to many people. Well, it's it, for me. It's it's actually a really simple answer, and that's a person who identifies as a woman. There we go again. There we go again. Whoever. So like that guy. <laughs> so what? I could be this desk right now, and you can't tell me the other one. I, I could be this desk right now, like that guy was saying. You can, whatever you call yourself, you can be it. Okay. Man. But what are they identifying as? I, as a woman. But, I just, but what is that? As a woman, do you know what a circular definition is? Huh. I do. It's sort of like what you're doing right now. Oh, what it oh he said that. Means to be a man or a woman made in the image of God. Would you have a problem if I told you, John, that I identify as a woman? No, I guess not. No, go ahead. Doesn't make any difference to me. What if I told you I identify as a black woman? Would you have a problem with that? You need to change your skin, dude. <laughs> now, why would I need to do that? Well, because you're a white guy. I mean, it's, that's a far stretch, but I mean... Now, why is that a far stretch? Would you have a problem if I told you that I identify as a woman? No, I don't mind. I mean, like, if you want to go around saying that, sure. Go right ahead. What if I told you that I identify as a 12-year-old black woman? If you believe it, like... Believe it. More fundamentally, there's an argument about what it means to be a man or a woman. Um, I was just sharing in my group. That's really the dumbest argument I've ever heard in my life. I mean, it is. It's, it is. It's stupid. How one of my coworkers challenged my identity using the trick question of what is a woman. The trick question. The trick question, he said. I don't think that's how it works. Sorry, I'm... Yeah. Oh, just this idea. So, like, asking someone, like, well, what is a woman? Which is just, gender is already a social construct. So to even ask that question just shows that this person doesn't understand the idea of, like, what gender is. Um, so many, so many things that we consider as truth. It's just how... 
that's just what the systems tell us, right? Um, now that I've had a chance to calm down a little bit. Um, if my first instinct would be if you have the energy. And again, sometimes the best thing to do is just be like, I'm not engaging with you and just walk away. Rose, I am so sorry you had to deal with that. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go off right now. Just let that sink in for a moment. We 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 went from having an argument about you know what were acceptable sexual practices. Wow, I mean, the real truth is those people are idiots. I mean, I think you're fun fact that guy's name is Christian. Want to put that out there? Throughout history, you can see every time there's been. Those people are idiots. I mean, I think throughout history, you can see every time there's been social advancement as we wake up. I mean, the 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 American story, the human story, is is one of constant. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm thinking about somebody else. Never mind. A different video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Time out. Time out. Other guys' name's not Christian. Christian. Um, maybe it is actually. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't look in. I'm filming another video right now, um, and he's got, the other guy's name is Christian, so I'm kind of, I don't know. Social awakening and growth. And that's, so I'm that's sorry if, it, if I'm wrong or if I'm right. I don't know. I don't know who it is, honestly. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm filming another that's video right now. That makes Christian, us good. So. To, to, to then going to an argument about wh who are acceptable marriage partners. Today. I sign the Respect for Marriage Act into law. <laughs> Deciding whether to marry, who to marry, is one of the most profound decisions a person can make. And now to an argument about what is a male and what is a female. What is a man and what is a woman? No, I can't. Because but it's not for me to say. I Y'all don't, don't say nothing about that. Yeah, y'all don't blow the comment section real quick. Womanhood looks different for everybody. What do you, what do you define a woman as? An adult. That's probably the most disturbing image I've seen all day. In a while. And I did this video. Alt human female. And what does a female mean? Uh, what, well, that's how do you, how do you define a someone with, with female reproductive organs. Okay. I will say this and everybody's gonna hate me, but as a woman, just because you go change your parts doesn't make you a woman. Right. Sorry. You feel that? I've learned a lot through this. Mm -hmm. So I think that that was one of the reasons uh, it might have happened. Just it was a, a huge learning experience for me. And and, uh, and I, I just have a compassion for, for you know, what I, I think you, you, you can, like I said in there, you can call yourself what, like you, you, whoever you believe you. Hey, I don't know what this you're talking about. Law. And and no one can dictate that for you or take that away from you, you know? And all of that goes to the heart of a simple, singular question. Hath God said? I'm trying really hard to maintain a relationship with God. And I don't think that he made a mistake with me. Um, and that maybe one day I will actually be grateful for being trans. Whoa, whoa, time out, 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 time out. You hear that? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Mm. 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 What? What? Look, sir. Okay, I ain't got words right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That this isn't some curse, but it's just a different path to the same destination. Because if he hasn't... Look, listen, God made you in his image. He didn't misgender you. He didn't... If, he, he didn't make you a monkey. He didn't make you a... a parrot. He made you what you are. You can't change it. I'm sorry. Then we are free to have those arguments and those debates and to move the goalposts from time to time. What do you, what do you mean by assigned female? Who, 
who assigns. Yeah, by the way, guys, I have not watched this video yet. So, if it's happening right now, man, my microphone's not. There we go. There we go. There we go. It wasn't on outer speech that was made to be up like that. So, that's why you probably can hear me very well. But I've actually hadn't seen this video yet. So, I'm reacting. Female. Yeah. So, um, most times people, when they're born, um, they're assigned a gender by the. The doctor. doctors. Yeah. Wait, what are they? What are they? What? They're assigned a gender by the doctor. Oh, so the doctor does everything. Mm. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Based that assignment on. So basically, it's it's based on genitalia. Um, so people looking at genitalia and deciding, okay, this is a, a girl or a boy, um, and we know. Now Lady, sir, whatever you are, pretty sure it's a lady. I should not have to say that. All right, so I'm about to freeze to death. This fan is cold. Um, what are we even? What are we even doing anymore? What is happening? What is going on with this world? The doctor assigns. Okay. Now that like that, sex and gender are so much more than just this binary. Some women have penises, right? Some. If God hath said. I'm supposed to skip that. I'm sorry. We get flooded. We're in trouble. And I believe we are. After eight seasons, four sex change surgeries, quote unquote, and countless hormone treatments, TLC's I Am Jazz star Jazz Jennings still doesn't feel right. I don't feel like me. You know why you don't feel right? Because you are what God made you. That's why. Ever, Jennings revealed in a recent episode. God is the one who creates and defines humanity. God is the one who creates and defines manhood and womanhood. God is the one who tells us what is a man and what is a woman. Put out a statement saying that you're non-binary mm. and please could people use they, them pronouns. Yeah. How did yeah. you feel about the, the the reaction to that, I it's something I I'd been I've always felt non-binary my whole life. He doesn't ask us that question. Your whole life, huh? Or just Satan's telling you that he followed into question. Nor does he give us leeway in that area. Uh, final question, Matt. In the interest of fair play, what is a man? Well, if a woman is an adult human female, then I suppose a man would be an adult human male, I, I would say. I think it really is as simple as that. But God hath said. The truth is that the answer to the question, what is a woman, is extremely simple. And it is based on both biology and the way God created and designed humans. Simply stated, there is no such thing as transgender. You're either XX or XY. That's it. God made man male and female. That is determined genetically. That is physiology. That is science. That is reality. The fact that this question has become a controversial and debated issue points towards the degree to which our culture has decided to rebel against God and what he has clearly revealed. People are now trying to create their own reality and to raise their fist against God, saying, I will create and follow my own false version of truth, not yours. This notion that you are something other than your biology is a cultural construct intended as an assault on God. As Christians, let's not be afraid. Okay, guys, hold on. I forgot to tell you this. I, I actually have watched half this video. Um... That's why I knew where to skip, but I have not actually seen half this video, so I kind of went past though to watch the interviews, and that's why. So I said I hadn't seen a, I hadn't seen the video, but I had I had seen some of the video, but I have seen some of the video. So I just wanted to get that clear. Free to directly challenge the insanity that we see around us. Of course, we need to do so with love and tact, and with the goal of proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. At the same time. We recognize that it is inevitable that simply speaking the truth will result in people calling us mean and bigoted. But then 
we also have a problem and probably more of a problem with the idea of engaging um, forcefully in a disagreement over ideology. Because of what I like to call the, the 11th commandment. The 11th commandment is, thou shalt be nice. And we don't believe the other 10. However, we should recognize that it is actually loving to speak the truth and to warn people about the destruction that they are headed towards, with hope that some people's eyes might be open. Let anybody tell you that it's not loving if you stand flat-footed and speak the truth about this issue of homosexuality. What's not loving is to look someone in the eye when God says they are in jeopardy of an eternity in hell and merely wink and nod at their sin because you're afraid of being called names. Speak the truth, saints. Thank you so much. Go, yeah, like I said, go subscribe to the Gospel of the Christ YouTube channel. They're really, really good. Please go subscribe to their channel. And just talk a second. This is, that's, this is what's ridiculous. That it's okay to have arguments. It, it's just not a man argument with a man and a woman. Because that, that's what's wrong with this world today. That's what's in a Disney videos. Have a video coming out about what this little pet pig. Thing came out with, but anyway, so we're just gonna end it out on that note. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, go over there, check out the uh, Treasure Christ YouTube channel, go subscribe to that channel. And uh, this is this is getting ridiculous, but I'm out. See y'all next time.